Hello, and welcome to episode four of Scales of Justice, case four, Tipping the Scales of Justice. This is our Finger Puppet Management TV project by Group 9, Team Floridians. Hope you enjoy. In the previous episode of Scales of Justice, we see Nathan go into Jennifer's office and explain Guilt's actions. Guilt's actions violated all the moral and ethic codes that Scales of Justice law firm was built on. Seeing this evidence, we see Jennifer take action immediately, as any good manager would do. She goes to Gilt's office in order to confront him, and that's where this episode begins. So let's see what happens. Gilt, we need to talk. It's recently come to my attention that evidence has been going missing from several junior lawyers' cases. What's even more alarming is that you're the one behind it. Why would you turn your back against your own firm? Why do this? So you think I've been the one going around stealing junior lawyers' evidence? Well I'll let you in on a little secret, it was me this whole time. And if given the chance I would do it again and again. The reason behind my actions are quite simple if you think about it. By stealing evidence, I maintain a competitive advantage because I can supply crucial evidence where others cannot. This maintains my undefeated streak and status as top lawyer here. Even better, at this rate I'll single-handedly go down as the greatest prosecutor of all time. If I were you Jennifer I would keep my mouth shut about this whole meeting, it's in everyone's best interest. You never know what could happen. And that concludes this week's episode of Scales of Justice. In this episode we saw Gilt explain his actions for stealing the evidence back in episode 1. In doing this, he provided himself with a competitive advantage. This is essentially a firm being able to offer more than what a competitor can, at a greater value. In doing this, he kept his undefeated streak, and he maintained his status as top lawyer. With learning this new information, though, how will Jennifer react? Will she take Gilt's advice and not say anything at all? Or will she risk her own job at Scales of Justice Law Firm? Stay tuned and find out. Thank you for watching this week.